So the next morning, now we have a meeting with the team to discuss the plan. So the next morning, I tell you, Dan, I was in a pretty good mood for considering. I went to the gym. I'm just like, because my thing was, we did this 10 years ago. We're going to do it again. And I get to the hospital that day and I see Eileen, who we've known for over 10 years. And she just looks different. And one of the main doctors, we all get in the room and G's there. Mind you, this is such a pivotal moment. Now, I'm not, I, don't, I never break down and rank moments from wor- best to first or worst. This was the worst moment by far. So the doctor starts talking and he's like, this is a rare form of brain cancer called glioblastoma that is basically incurable in front of G because G wanted to be in the meeting. And G is so then with a straight face. G said, has anybody beat this? The doctor said, I'm afraid not. So I just fucking, I, I'm, I lose it. I leave the room. I pulled an Amari and I, I punched the wall and I, I was hysterical. And um, Eileen comes running after me and a few of the nurses are just holding me. And they're like, get back in there with her, get back in there with her. So I go back in there. And then I I remember before I went back in, I said to the doctor, because he came running after me too. I said, what's the life expectancy? And he said, I'm afraid nine months. And I was like, what? They're like, get back in there with her. So I get back in there and 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 she's chilling. And she just got the same news I did. She just got the same news I did. And she's, I'm like, gee, I got you. You know, I'll, I'll never leave your side. And she's like, just go get me McDonald's and just please just go get me McDonald's, please. That's all I want. So I went and I got her McDonald's and, you know, for the, and then we had a, and then they gave us the option if we wanted to fight it. And she was like, yeah, we're going to fight this. And there was a point in December. So then she got moved to a rehab center eventually for the, for uh, end of November, December, January. It was good in rehab because she got to leave. She can go out, go to games, go to concerts, go to, we got to go to a lot of restaurants. And there was a point in December where this kid was doing chemo, radiation, and physical therapy at the same time. And never complained. Um, We went, she came to Nick games with me. We went to go see Cher. Um, we, We went out to eat almost every night. And, you know, one of the biggest moments for me was it was only about a week after the stroke. And I was one of the few times I cried in front of her besides that day as well. Um, She was like, aunt, I got this. And she, our favorite restaurant is Carlos and Yonkers. And G goes, I'm going to walk into Carlos and I'm going to walk on center court of the garden. I promise. And then we got to the rehab center. The first night we went out, we went to Carlos and she walked in. She got up a wheelchair and she walked in and we had dinner there. And then a few days later, we went to the Nick game and we wheeled her to the three point line after the game. And she got out of her wheelchair and she with her cane and she walked to center court. 